Oh, okay. So yesterday, I was, uh, as, well, the school was sort of open, you know, some buildings are open, uh, you can get the buildings open, whatever it is. Um, but uh, today is Monday, yesterday was Sunday, today is Monday, and things are supposed to happen, it's supposed to be decisions made or something happening this week, see if the classes will continue. It doesn't affect me again, I'm research. Uh, so I just have to read my books, I'm holding my book up, and, you know, I'm just, just reading my books and uh, take notes. Uh, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm sorted with that. Anyway, so I was coming back from um, uh, from uh, from the little shop, and I was going through the campus to go back up to the village because now I'm living in the village. Oh, hell, my life is so interesting. Born in the South Bronx, born in the big city, New York City, Gotham. You know, uh, travel the world. I uh, spent ten years in Cape Town. No, no, you know. Well, now, then I was in Alice, you know, town. Uh, now I'm up in the in Salamanze, the, 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 a village. The village life. I've lived all over the planet, so it a, it's, it's kind of interesting. I really like it. So we're there until we find a, another place. Anyway, but it's, it's nice. I, I like it. Anyway, so, um, so as I was walking, you know, a cat I knew, you know, stops. Oh, hey, brother, I ain't seen you in a while. You're scarce. They always say that. If someone hasn't seen you in three days, then all of a sudden you are scarce. You see, you're doing your thing. Everybody knows what you're doing, but you know, you're know you scarce. So, so I said, can I get back? I said, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna go back to my office on campus. So um, so I jumped in the, in the end of the ride with the brother, and he says, yeah, fees must fall. I haven't seen you, aren't you? Fees must fall. I said, well, I'm an international student. I can't sort of protest because there's a thing against, I don't know, I didn't sign it, but there's a bunch of that thing. You have to sign a thing that if you're an international student, you can't tell, partake in whatever this action. I'm not sure. I don't care because it doesn't bother me. So now the brother's trying to explain to me, yeah. And I said, well, you know, plus I'm not down with you guys, you know, because I, 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 for two years I've been trying to talk to you for strategy and tactics and you just won't listen. Well, he wasn't a leader or whatever have you. He's just a cat to call that I know. So I, he says, no, no, students, we have to blah, blah, blah. And I said, no, you're wrong. You're, you're, in fact, you're, bunch, you, you're led by a bunch of idiots, you know. You, all you do is, is do what your grandfathers did and your uncles and your, and your aunties, you know. You're toy toying and, and burning stuff down. It doesn't make any sense. You're students. You're supposed to be thinking your way through this stuff. No, no, no. He went to me, but was holding back for then, then he says, here's the funny thing. He says to me, oh, no, but uh, we're here to study. Blah, blah, blah. Now, the obvious thing I could have said, well, if you're here to study, then why are you burning stuff and, 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 and doing this stuff? Why don't you use your brains and study how to get out of the situation? But I didn't say that. It was too obvious, you know. So he just wanted to win the argument, like most people. I wrote this thing once. I think I said something like, uh, black people don't want to be wrong or wronged. That's the first part of it. Second part, they say white people want to be right and not write it, but one can accept the first part. Black people don't want to be wrong or wronged. It's very interesting. I think that sort of sums it all up. So, you know, me meanwhile, he's swilling castle light, you know, and I'm going like, you know, oh, the revolutionaries have fallen. <laughs> involved in a thing it doesn't make any sense you have to if you want to celebrate drinking whatever have you then first you have to accomplish something then celebrate anyway so I think what's going to happen this week uh, the international students uh, committee at least the executive committee is supposed to meet sometime this week hopefully they'll meet and hopefully I'll hold these people's feet to the fire and say look we're going to meet we're not going to meet for this an hour and get out of here we're going to meet until we get things resolved we're going to go 60s you know what I grew up with you know we got to be there all night we're going to find a thing because here's the thing Fees must fall. Fine. If the fees, if, if people don't pay fees, then they got to get that. Then what, what the government or whatever, they'll do the easiest thing. They'll just increase the fees on, say, the international students. So we have a stake in this. I don't think the international students are thinking like that. You know, they just you know all cow in some place. So my whole thing is that you should have, and I've said this before, we should, we should have literally committees, you know, with a finance person or, or, or an audit person, whatever have you, like two or three people, you know, and they, and they figure out, you know, how to solve this problem. I mean, how to uh, basically uh, get the money that, that the, get the money that you need to, uh, you know, to do what needs to be done. Fees must fall, but, but you know, they got to, Somebody's got to pay something someplace, I suppose, maybe not. So that's the challenge. There's a problem, 
and now we have to solve the problem. And, and it can be solved. People just got to bite the bullet. They got to say, look, hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to find this money this way. We're going to solve this money problem this way. We're going to find out who is, who is stealing the money, who's chowing the money, as they would say. So that's the challenge. Boy, I hope we're up to it. We being, well, at least me, T for the past since taking a turn to Tibet, letting you know when I always suspect.